Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Cameron White. I'm with APV America. We are a pneumatic air seeder company. Uh, everything's based over in Europe, but we have a headquarters here in Pottsboro, Texas. Uh, started in about 2017. We have a variety of uh, cover crop seeders, different sizes, anywhere from about three bushels to 45 bushels. So this is our largest single tank capacity hopper that we have. This is a 45 bushel hopper. You know, you can do anything from grass seed to a clover to a pea. Um, all these can be done out of one hopper. We just have a different metering wheel that you can change. So super user friendly. Uh, super versatile so we can do that for whatever type of farmer we're trying to you know go after uh we have a solution for him yeah who would you say is your ideal customer for apv you know so we have that beginner hobby farmer all the way up to the you know the veteran farmer um we really pride ourselves in learning what that farmer is trying to accomplish and finding a solution for him to do that whether it's, you know, a one fill 2000 pound hopper uh, that can go on the back of his vertical tillage or a guy looking to, you know, plant food plots in the spring, you know, spring or fall. Uh, we really have that solution for everybody. Uh, it's just trying to figure out what that farmer is trying to accomplish. Yeah, you were telling me that APV is a, a fairly new company, right? Yep, so we started in the US in 2017. We were warehoused out of Colorado, you know, Kind of like everything else, COVID happened. We lost a lot of traction, but we're out here at Farm Progress, you know, really trying to get in front of the consumers. You know, that's really what we're trying to get after, build the brand. You know, we're, we're yellow, we're red, we really make an impression. So we're just trying to get in front of as many people as possible. And we've just seen a boom in cover crop usage over the past decade. Yep. Do, do you feel that from your customers that, that they're craving more options when it comes to cover crop equipment? Yes, yeah, so you know, for us, um, it, it's been one of those things, we've really seen an increase in the past year in sales. There's more government subsidies coming out. Uh, NRCS is going after, you know, they, they wanna plant cover crops. We can't leave that soil bare. You know, one thing we really pride ourselves in is, you know, uh, being environmental friendly. Uh, we we want to take care of that soil because it's taking care of us. Um, so if we can do that by introducing cover crops, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. Let's take a walk here, Cameron, and show off some of the other equipment here. I'll, I'll let you lead the way. Uh, where, do, where do we want to go first here? So, you know, again, we, we really, work with everybody. Uh, so we do have smaller single disc spreaders, um, you know, from a, about a 40 pound capacity all the way up to a hundred pound capacity. Uh, these can go on the back of four wheelers, side by sides, uh, your truck, whatever you're trying to accomplish. Uh, we do a lot of uh, waterways with these, hard to reach areas, but we can get super accurate with our seating on them. Yeah, what kind of feedback do you get from customers on these? So uh, we, we actually work with uh, Chris Brackett out of Illinois, uh, who's a avid hunter, had his own TV show. He said it's the best cover crop seeder or food plot seeder he's ever used. So, you know, and that we weren't paying him. He just used a machine, gave us his honest feedback. Uh, so we did get a lot of good feedback from that. People really enjoy it. Comes with a controller. It can all be open and closed right from there. Uh, so you're not having to hop off your tractor or your four wheeler. You use a controller and can calibrate from right there. Then we go into our grassland seeders. So this is developed to go into, so this is our GP300, our grassland pro harrow. A grassland or even work ground where you're not wanting to disturb that soil uh, it essentially acts as a no-till. You just have a gra you have uh, four rows of harrows that actually open up the soil, dethatch, aerate. Then you have your cover crop seeder, runs down your dispersion. Then you have a colt packer that packs everything in. So we call this our six-in-one pass. So a guy looking to cut down on his input cost, fuel, seed, he, he can use a machine like this and really accomplish what he's trying to do. Again, we have various sizes of our cover crop seeders. This is about a 20 bushel. 
Then we go to our implement carrier. So this will actually hook between your tractor and your vertical tillage piece. So you're not having to mount a cedar on your vertical tillage. So three point mounted on this side. Here you'll have a draw bar hitch that hooks up to your vertical tillage piece. And then your dispersion hoses run out there and you just mount them on your vertical tillage. So it can be quick disconnect and, you know, super simple if they're trying to use multiple vertical tillage pieces. Another smaller uh, cover crop seeder here. Then we get into another grassland harrow, but this one was developed to go on a skid steer. So a guy looking to do uh, erosion control work, food plots, uh, landscape seeding, this is a great solution. Uh, do every type of seed out of that one hopper and you know you're not disturbing the soil too much or anything like that and you get great seed to soil contact with that colts packer. That seems like it's a key to uh, establishing a cover crop is the, the seed to soil contact. Right? Yeah, exactly you know um, a lot of guys fly on cover crops or they're broadcasting them but you lack that one thing and that's seed to soil contact and we're not really trying to disturb that soil. Uh, we just want to lay it right on top. Culture Packer does its work, makes sure it, you know, presses everything down, and, and then you get good germination out of that. And it sounds like, like you were talking about earlier, you have equipment for, if, if there's a cover cropper in Texas, yep. or a cover cropper on the East Coast, it seems like you have a, a wide arsenal of equipment that could fit specific operations. It, exactly, you know, the guy that may have a, six foot vertical tillage piece that he's looking to get into cover crops. You know, we have a PS200, a, a smaller capacity hopper. Then, you know, where we started, we have the PS1600, which is for that guy looking to cover a lot of acreage very quickly. So, you know, we do that. Here's just our Colts Packer with the cedar on it. So, you know, the guy that's looking to get away with out disturbing the soil at all, now he's just putting the seed right before that Colts Packer and, you know, again, good seed to soil contact. APV also offers a wide variety of products, you know, we're really known for our seeders, uh, but we even get into the organic stuff for, you know, the guy that's looking to get away from chemicals, herbicides, pesticides. We, we have organic operations uh, with our timed weeders. So uh, a farmer can run this between his row crops and actually pull out or cover up about 95% of the weed material there. So chemical prices are through the roof, gas prices are through the roof. So with one pass, you're getting rid of about 95% of your weed material there. And it's laying on top of the soil, which we know is good because you're introducing that organic material right back into the soil. So, you know, it helps with nitrogen fixation, everything like that. So this is a great tool to get away from a lot of those higher input costs of fertilizer or chemicals. Gotcha. Well, a little bit more about yourself. How did you get started with APV? Did you come from a farming background? So, you know, I, I did grow up on a farm, um, went to college, got my bachelor's in animal science. Um, but, you know, it was one of those things that Vet pharmaceutical jobs weren't available. So I wanted to do the next best thing. And, you know, if I'm raising cattle, I've got to have a good grass stand. If I'm raising uh, pigs, I've got to have good corn or soybeans, you know. So it, it came into the field of now, how do I get this material out there? Um, APV actually OEMs for a lot of well known companies over in Europe. Pottinger, uh, Kuhn, uh, Amazon. So all these other companies are using us uh, to really get that product out there efficiently. So with APV, you know, it was a great fit with, for what we were trying to do. Uh, really try and give back to, you know, the environment, be self-sustaining um, and all these type things. Uh, so I really clicked with their message, their attitude um so it was a great fit um 
you know, kind of going back to that OEM, I worked for Pottinger for a little bit here in the U.S., and we OEM for them over in Europe. So I knew about APV. It was a good fit, and, you know, it's a great team. We're a small team. We only have three employees here in the States, but we're continuously growing. Uh, we have a great showing here at the Farm Progress Show this year, and, you know, we hope to see you at the next show. Yeah, it seems like you're just scratching the surface at APV. Yeah. Where do you see the, the cover crop equipment business going in the next five to 10 years? You know, people are gonna have to start planting cover crops. Uh, we only have a certain amount of soil on the earth. You know, there's no more coming in. So if we can protect that for longer, again, governments are giving grants, stipulations uh, to go out and have these farmers plant cover crops. Uh, once that becomes a well practiced thing, uh, I, I see this business completely getting away from a lot of chemicals and pesticides and herbicides uh, and doing it, doing it in a more natural way with cover crops. Um, so I think the, you know, in the next five to 10 years, we'll see a total increase uh, in cover crop planting. I mean, if you look back five years ago, we've already made strides and bounds uh, from where we were then. It's becoming a practice that everybody's using. Uh, so I see it being a big application.